right, quick word of warning before we begin, just to let you know, I am not a financial planner and I am not a financial advisor. Uh, everything you say today and anything I share with you is just for entertainment. It is not financial advice. Please seek a professional when deciding where to put your money. Uh, I am not that professional. Thank you. All right, hello everyone. David Tatera here. Today, um, I'm gonna do a little video, a little screen capture in my phone. And I am going to show you a walkthrough of how you connect Pancake Swallop, Swap, excuse me, Pancake Swap to your Trust Wallet, so that you can go out and buy all of those altcoins you may be looking for, whether it's the Safe Moon or the Safe Mars or the Happy Coin. There's all kinds of different tokens and coins available in Pancake Swap, uh, and it can be a little tricky. Figuring out how to correctly link this to your wallet. I use a trust wallet, um, so there's a couple little little hoops. If you don't get them right, it won't show up there. But I'm gonna literally walk you through the entire process of me buying some Safe Moon coins on Pancake Swap. So stick around if you're interested in this. Uh, if you like the video, please click on that button down below over here, over there, wherever it ends up. Um, that's gonna help me out a ton. It's gonna tell Google that you. Uh, thought very highly of my video and I'm gonna make sure they show it to other people. Uh, if you do like the video and you like getting more of these great tech tips and money making advice, click that subscribe button and that little bell notification. That's gonna make sure you find out whenever new videos come up and give you a chance to see them, all right? All right, let's dive on in with the screen. As you can see here, I've got my Android phone pulled up and I'm gonna pop on over there and tap on the um, Chrome and pull up pancakeswap.finance in my Chrome browser. Um, so this is what most people do when they're starting and trying to get onto PancakeSwap. So once you're on here, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is click that connect button up in the top right hand corner um, to connect your trust wallet. And it pulls up a little screen like this or your MetaMask wallet, whatever one. But you'll notice for most of us, when you click on connect, no provider was found, provider error. And I, you know, there aren't a lot of answers for how to solve this, but really it's actually pretty simple. Uh, the main problem is that you're using the wrong browser. So now go back to your um, trust wallet or whatever wallet you're using, and you'll see at the bottom, there's that little D apps thing. That's actually a D apps web browser. It's a web 3.0 browser that is capable of using um, smart chain assets. So anytime, whether it's um, Uniswap or PancakeSwap, any of those uh, exchanges, you want to do it from that browser. Now, if you happen to have an iOS thing, mine's an Android phone, if you have iOS, there's one extra step you're going to have to do, and I'm going to link to this uh, description in the, in the comments down below. Uh, but basically, you have to add that DApp browser step on there. So you can see this picture of an iPhone, and it does not have it. It only has the wallet, the exchange. Um, it doesn't have the DApps portion. So um, there's, a, there's a little link here. You need to pull open a Safari browser with no tabs in it, an empty Safari browser, and you're gonna wanna click on that trust um, browser underscore enable. Um, that I'm gonna leave a link to also in the comments down below in the description. But once you click on that, like it shows here, you're gonna see it pop open that, um, that little thing where it says cancel or open, and you click the open. And the next thing you know, it's gonna start allowing you to access the DApps browser from your trust wallet. So that's the quickest and best way for you to, um, to get that added. And once you have that added, whether it's Android or iOS, we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now that we've got that added and we've got the DApps option down at the bottom of your browser, you're gonna to wanna to go back into your trust wallet um, and click on that, that DApps. Um, link down at the bottom of your wallet, and it is going to pop you right over into what looks like a browser window. This is your DApps browser. Uh, basically, it's a Web 3.0 browser that's able to operate off of the blockchain, um, and it takes a minute to load. I'm loading Pancake Swap here, but there's going to be one little step before we connect with our Pancake Swaps that, that we're going to want to make sure of. So if you notice up at the top right-hand corner of my screen, there's a little icon there. I'm going to highlight it, and it looks like um, the BNB icon for Binance, um, because I'm, I'm operating uh, on the Binance chain right now. Um, but you're gonna wanna click on that little icon and make sure that it is set to the correct um, 
network that you want to operate on. So whether you're doing this on an Ethereum network or a Binance network or whatever network you're you're um, buying these tokens on, you're going to want to click on that and make sure that it's the same one. So like I said, I'm using Binance tokens. So I'm going to click on it um, and it's going to pull up a little list of all the different options that I have where I can um, connect to different types of networks. And when it pulls that up here in just a second, I'm going to um, select Binance and make sure Smart Chain, the second one down, not Ethereum, not Ethereum Classic or Thunder Token, but I'm wanting to connect to the Smart Chain. That's where I'm going to do my buying. So I click on Smart Chain. Now I know that the, the web browser is using the right protocols. So now I need to actually connect it. So there's that little blue button up in the top right hand corner that says connect. That's our next thing. Once we click on that, it's going to go and it's going to pull straight from our, our wallet that we're inside of right now. You're going to pick which one. I'm inside a trust wallet. So I say I want to connect it to my trust wallet and I click on that piece. And instead of seeing that thing that says connect then, suddenly it's going to pull up that right there, which tells me I have now connected it to my trust wallet. I can go, I can trade, I can make exchanges, I can do whatever I need to from this point. Okay, so now that I've got it all connected, I'm ready to dive on in and actually purchase some SafeMoon coin. Um, for our demonstration today, that's the coin that I'm going to be buying. So you can see here, I went back to my trust wallet really quickly just to show you. I've got about 1.6 million um, safe coins, which if you don't know much about it, that's probably a, a couple of dollars, $10, $20. I don't even know in safe coin. It's a very small amount uh, because it's a very inexpensive coin. But I just want to show you that's where my balance is before we begin so that when we get to the end of this tutorial and you see the number shift, you know, or along the way you see that number pop up. Uh, it's not confusing. So anyway, as I start this process, 1.6 million, that's what I got in the bank. All right. So the first step now, now we're back over into uh, our pancake swap where we were a second ago, and I'm going to enter how much I want to purchase there. I put in the amount of uh, Binance that I was willing to spend to buy SafeMoon, and then I have to pick my token, which is called SafeMoon. Now you can see the first thing that po pops up when I put in the, um, the name SafeMoon there is this little warning. Uh, if you don't know much about SafeMoon, SafeMoon is kind of almost like an MLM meets uh, crypto. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's got a bunch of fees because you, you pass some of it on to other people who are also owners of SafeMoon. So because of this, you get this little extra pop-up uh, which tells you, some of your fees are going here, some of your fees are going there, and you have to click on the little I understand and agree um, in order to move on from here. To purchase the coin, you had to agree, so I agreed, and now it's gonna show me how much um, SafeMoon coin I am going to be getting for my uh, Binance there that I'm transferring, my 0 .019 Binance. Um, and you can see that I'm gonna get 1.6 million, it looks like, 1.6 million, 1.4 million, now it's, it is, um, and it's gonna shift. With these little altcoins, you're gonna watch the numbers go up and down and pop all over the place normally because um, as everybody's buying in and out, the rates move, and when you're dealing with such tiny decimals, it makes pretty big jumps in what you're seeing before you. So, you know, you kinda watch it and you figure out at what moment you feel like jumping on in, and then you hit the swap. Now, along the way, if you have problems, there's a thing called tolerance. All right, and to get to tolerance, um, you want to go up there to that little cross lines with the three little verticals next to the, the clock looking thing. Um, that's where you're going to get to your tolerance settings. So it's called slippage, uh, actually, slippage tolerance. Basically, what slippage tolerance means is how much are you willing to allow the price to fluctuate between when you say I want to buy it and when you actually get it. So normally one, a half percent, those are kind of more normal. When you're buying these altcoins, such small volumes that it can shift all over the place on you in the blink of an eye. So in order to get some of these transactions through, you may have to bump that tolerance up. That's why mine's at 12% right there. I'm saying the, the, the price of this thing can shift by 12% and I still want to buy it because anything less than that, all my orders keep getting rejected because before I actually get my order placed, the price has changed by that much. So anyway, only do what you're comfortable with. Once again, not a financial advisor here, but that is the way that that setting works and that's what it's meant to be there for.
Okay, so back to the order screen. Um, that was the order that I was looking at just a moment before I explained tolerance, and I am going to confirm my swap. Here we go. We're waiting. We're waiting. Oh, the transaction did not go through. Insufficient output amount. Probably an issue with one of the tokens you're swapping. This happens. Uh, this happened to my business partner. This happened to myself. Uh, this seems to be kind of a common thing when you're dealing with these altcoins. Dismiss. Try again. This is what I've had to do to get it to successfully go through. So you click dismiss. It comes back. It's going to re-give you another price. You try again. You click confirm swap. And oh, it didn't go through again. All right. Let's see what happens. Click on dismiss again. We're going to go back through this loop again. This time I'm going to change the amount. I'm going to say what happens if I decide I only want to buy that much of it. Um, I think the higher volume you're trying to buy, the more you may have to bump that slippage tolerance up. But you'll notice when I put this volume down, this time I'm actually going to get a confirmation screen. Here it goes. It's loading. It's going to take just a second. But there we go. We have a confirmation screen. Confirm that I am. I have a transaction, an option. I need to approve it. Uh, that's going to be the last step. Clicking on that approve button, you'll see it loading. And boom, transaction submitted. This means that it's very likely I've actually purchased the crypto. Um, there's still one more step before we're confirmed because I have seen it fail after this. Uh, I've seen the, the information in the trust wallet come through and say uh, smart transaction declined. But we're going to go back to our wallet. We're going to take a look in here. In the first step, we can look in our smart chain and we can see that, yes, in fact, that top transaction sent today, that is the, the Binance smart chain that I just spent to buy that. So that's a good sign. I spent $1.21 right there. Now you can look over here and see that the smart call was executed. An even better sign. Looks like we're moving along. And then boom, there's the sign we were looking for. 2.305 million safe coins now. So for that $1.30 or whatever, I got another 900,000 safe coins. I think that's what I got. Uh, $5, I don't remember what I paid, but you can see it right there. That's my new balance. I've spent $15 I uh, probably spent half of that in fees and stuff. I don't even know. Um, but that's it. We've successfully purchased SafeMoon. We've got it right there in our thing. Um, now, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know anything about SafeMoon. Um, I heard names. It seemed popular. It was another one of those flyer altcoins. More than anything for me, this is an academic exercise. I know that at some point along the way, I am going to see an altcoin that I want to buy. And I want to know how to do it. I want to be familiar with it. I don't want to have to learn the entire process at that point. So I think it's worth taking a chance and spending 10 or 20 bucks on an altcoin just to get a chance to go through the process. In fact, another video coming up soon, I'm going to show you another token called Happy Token that's even harder to buy than this. It's even more complicated than this. Um, but it's worth learning all of these because some of these can be the real, like, flyer gold mines where you can make a ton off of them is at least that's what i've heard uh but like i said not financial advice all right well thank you guys i uh, appreciate you joining me and learning all about this i hope you have wonderful luck um uh, getting safe moon in there once again we've got all the errors at the beginning that'll help you get through and make sure your your trust wallet is properly connected with your pancake swap then it's a matter of getting those slippage tolerance settings set right and getting the amount that you're buying set right um, so that it can approve it. And once you get that, man, just try, try again until it comes through. Um, if you run into questions along the way, you know, please ask them in the bottom. Uh, happy to do some research and try to come up with answers to them. I am learning this as we go along too. It's exciting for me. Uh, I find it very interesting and a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah. Click on one of my other videos if you need to, to learn more about uh, BitCloud. I'm going to do more about altcoins, all kinds of fun stuff in the, in the tech and crypto space. Hit my subscribe button, and I promise you, you're going to keep getting wonderful, important, useful, uh, current, new information on what is going on in these spaces. All right? Thank you again. Much aloha.